Welcome back. We're here today in Boulder Public Library's Canyon Gallery with Donna Gartenman, the Arts and Cultural Programs Manager for the City of Boulder, to explore the idea of public art. Many people think that public art is a statue plopped down in a public place. Donna, could you tell us a little bit more about what public art is? The short definition is public art is artwork created for a, a public space, and this can be temporary art, permanent art. Um, it can be, as you said, a standalone piece, a sculpture, but it can be a lot more. It can be incorporated into architecture. It can be functional art, such as seating, um, landscaping, lighting, murals, uh, concrete treatments, and, and a whole lot more. So today we're surrounded by uh, a beautiful exhibit of children's artwork from the Boulder Valley School District. Would this kind of exhibit be public art? No, this, this is an exhibition in a public space, but no, I wouldn't call it public art. It was done by the kids in the Boulder Valley School District, K through eight. It is one of our annual shows and one of our most popular shows. Boulder doesn't have an actual percent for public art, but in spite of that, we've been doing a, a number of projects. If you're coming in to Boulder on 28th Street, you'll notice a lot of aesthetic treatments that the city has gone through the actual public art process. If you take a look at examples like the, the stone wall on 28th Street, and if you can remember what it looked like before when it was a dirt hill with volunteer weeds and trees coming through, then compare it to what it is today. It's a beautiful space. I think Boulder's most beautiful piece of public art is the Duchambe Tea House. Not only for the artwork itself and the craftsmanship, but when you also take into consideration that it's a sister city exchange, um, that gives it a lot more meaning. Additional examples of public art in Boulder, there are a number of transit stops around the city that incorporate public art. In front of the Senior Center, there's a transit stop in front of Scott Carpenter Park. If you're strolling down the Pearl Street Mall, you may not notice the artwork because it blends in so well, but it gives a sense of place to the whole area. If you're walking along or riding your bike on the bike path in the city, you may notice a number of the underpasses actually have artwork incorporated into it. So public art really improves the aesthetics of a so certain location around town. Is there more to it than that? Well, public art can define a sense of, of place. There are so many different ways to approach public art. Um, you can memorialize, it can be historic. Um, many public art projects are site specific. Um, I think of, of the arts as being the universal language. And if you look at history, you see much of what's left um, of the, the past civilizations is the art. Well, thank you for speaking with us today, Donna. Thank you. We've been speaking with Donna Gartenman, the Arts and Cultural Manager for the City of Boulder. And we're here in the Canyon Gallery with this wonderful exhibit of Boulder Valley School District art students' work, and it's running through April 14th. If you'd like more information about exhibits here at the Canyon Gallery, please visit the City of Boulder website. And we'll be right back with a little bit more of Inside Boulder.